Chepo, you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you doing? Yes, I'm here. Good, right. You tell me your question, your start of your question. Um, it says two grams of magnesium ribbon is placed in a conical flask with some dilute hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we've got two grams of magnesium ribbon yes. and we've got dilute HCl. Okay, continue. Yes. The gas that is given off yes. is collected in the gas syringe. Correct. And the graph of volume of gas against time is plotted. Okay, right. We're going to start there now, but I want you, let's do the, let's do the balanced equation first. Right. Okay. Right, so we've got magnesium solid. Yes. And that is added to hydrochloric acid. Yes. Right, what do we form from that? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, what gas are we forming here? What gas? Yes, look at the equation here. Mg plus HCl, what gas are we going to form? Um, MgCl, hydrogen. Hydrogen, okay. Yes. So we're going to form hydrogen. We're going to add hydrogen gas here, H2 gas, eh? Yes. Okay, it's a diatomic gas, very important. So what salt solution have we formed? MgCl2. Okay, yes. You say, why do you say you didn't know it? <laughs> no, I, I was just, there was a moment right there. Okay, one of those moments. We all have yeah. it. Right, balance that <laughs> equation for me. Um, I'd go that in, in front of that MGCL2. Okay. In front of the HCL, I'd put a 2. Okay. Do we need to add anything else? No. I think that'll okay, be Okay. Right. That's important. We all forget about the basics, which are balancing equations, and we forget about it, so we need to do it properly. Yes. Okay. Right. Continue. Um, the first question says, um, describe the rate of the chemical reactions at the following interval. Okay. Right, so I'm going to draw them here. I've got zero. Okay, yes, you've and, got then, zero. and then you say there's a diagonal line. Yes, there's a diagonal line going all the way up to X. Okay, let's just call X, just put X in, in red or orange. Right, and then? And then at X, it curves a little. Okay, so I'm going to curve a little. You must excuse my graphs. Okay, okay. okay. And that for, uh, come to what point then? I um, mean, then it's going to become parallel to the X axis. Okay, and that's point Y, isn't it? Yes, that's point Y, the uh, place where it becomes parallel. Okay, and then it goes parallel. Yes. Okay, so we've got point X, where it goes, I'm just going to put those lines there like that. Right, yes. so from zero to X. Okay, yes. and we have to describe what? The rate of the reaction there. Well, describe the rate of the chemical reaction, yes. Okay, so you're going to do that for me. Um, What's happening I, between zero and X? Um, I think... The forward action was becoming slower, and the reverse one was becoming faster or something. Like okay, let's, I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to stop you there. Okay. Okay, look how I've written the reaction. Is this reaction, okay, is this reaction occurring in a closed or open system? They don't tell you, do they? No, they don't mention it. They okay. just said it's placed in a conical flask. Okay, right. They don't mention a stopper on the conical flask. So I would think it's not a closed, it's not a closed system. It's an open system. Okay. Right, so what's going to happen to the hydrogen gas that's produced? Um, it's going to escape. Yes, because it's less dense than air, isn't it? Yes. Good. So that's going to go up. So that's a, not a reverse reaction. There's no reverse reaction because it's an, a, an open system. The hydrogen gas escapes. So it's a, forward, it's a re reaction in one way only, from left uh, to right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Right, so the graph is showing you the reaction of the Ford reaction until something's used up. What do you think's used up? Um, they normally tell you which is an excess, which um, is normally what? What do you think? Um, I think the hydrochloric okay. acid is the in excess. Okay, hydrochloric acid is in excess. So the yes. reaction will go until the magnesium ribbon is used up. Yes. Okay, right. So we've established that. Right, let's go back to this graph then. Between zero and X, yes. what's happening to the rate of the reaction? It's increasing. Okay. Okay. It's probably, it's increasing, yeah, it's getting quick, it's quick, it's quick, it's at a yes. constant rate, okay? Yes. It's a quick, 
rate. Because it's a solid line, uh -huh. the volume of gas per time is being produced is the same. So it's a quick reaction. Oh, okay. okay. I wouldn't say it's increasing. It's just going fast, a constantly fast reaction. Oh, okay. Okay. Then what's happening between X and Y? Between X and Y, it's, um, the, 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 the amount of, 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 of mg, I'd say it's becoming less and less, and the rate of okay. reaction is getting slower. So, yes. Yeah. So, therefore, the amount of hydrogen gas being produced is getting less and less. Yes. Okay. So, the rate is decreasing, decreasing. as you write. Yes. And what's happened after X? Um, after X. Has it or after Y. After Y, sorry. Has it reached equilibrium? No, because it's an open system, it can't be equilibrium. So, I'd say uh, the MG was finished. Okay. So, that's excellent. Well done. Thank so, you. here, the reaction is completed. The reaction okay. is completed. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. And I see. Okay, you happy with that? Yes, I'm happy now. now right. I'm happy. Okay, what's your next question? Um, the next one says, what effect would each of the following changes have on the rate of the reaction? Okay. The first being magnesium powder is used instead of ribbon. Okay, right. I'm just going to rub this out quickly because we're going to work on this graph. Okay. And we're going to do it again. Right, okay. so that's our original reactions that and that's a yeah okay you said to me that's a or number one or whatever doesn't really matter okay. right what's the next graph you say um very cold hydrochloric acid is used okay go back to the first one that was a you said that we Mag now use magnesium ribbon yes how much yes. magnesium ribbon magnesium powder instead of ribbon okay we use magnesium powder it's the same amount isn't it yes it's still the same amount okay yeah right so what do you think is going to happen um, will it, I think it will increase. Okay, what will increase? Okay, the, the, the what's going to increase? The rate of the reaction. Yes. Okay, so the rate of the reaction is going to increase. Do I do it above or below the A line? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's maybe okay. above. Okay, is it going to produce the same amount of hydrogen? Yes. Okay, but it's going to get them faster. Faster, okay, so we draw it above it. Yes, okay, now I see, now I see. Okay, you're happy with that? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, so it gets to equilibrium earlier. Okay, so that's B. That's B. Okay, right. Okay. The, the next one you said was? Um, very cold hydrochloric acid is used. Okay, all right. I'm going to try the, the black line. Okay, very cold hydrochloric acid is used. Now, what do you think is going to happen now in relation um, to A? In relation to A, maybe it might go down. So it's going to be slower. Yes, it's going to go slower. Okay, there we are. It's getting slower. Okay, so there's C. Yes. Okay, so the yes. rate of the reaction is much slower. Yes. Okay, right. You happy with that? Yes, yes, it's not. Okay, like right. What's the last one? The last one says five grams of magnesium ribbon is used. Okay, so we're going to use five grams of magnesium ribbon. Okay, first question. Do you think we're going to form the same amount of hydrogen gas? I think maybe because the reactants increased, the products might increase. Okay. I think they'll increase. Might or increase? I think they are going to increase. They're going to increase. Well done. Okay, so it's going to increase. So we're going to get for the last one C. Sorry, um, the last one D. We're going to get more hydrogen. Oh, more hydrogen. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say maybe faster. Maybe that's slightly longer, but it will be more. If I can put it through there. I'll go uh -huh. through that. It will be more hydrogen formed, okay? Okay. Okay, so we will get hydrogen more, more hydrogen formed. Uh -huh. Okay, and I just want to draw that back again. Let's just draw B back again. So okay. we're going to get more hydrogen formed. Yes, yes, nice. No, okay, so it's going to get right there. So it's, maybe it's a bit difficult showing you all the graphs, but we have the most important thing is because you use five grams of, hydrogen, of, 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 uh, of magnesium, you're going to get more hydrogen being formed. Okay. okay, so will the reaction continue for longer since it's 5 grams? It probably will t continue to longer, so it will probably take a bit longer to finish off. Yes, it would do. Okay, oh, okay. So it reaches the end there compared to that, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, then. Right, you happy with those answers? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, um, yes. Can I ask a question? Yes, quickly. Um, can I get a Maths 911 book? I don't know. I think they've run out at this stage, but if we, if we do give them out, we'll call you, okay? Okay. Thanks very much, Chepo. And any yes, more questions, you, you have, phone us. Okay. Yes, I'll do that. Right. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks to Chepo for that interesting question on rates and reactions. And
important to go through them systematically and get your answers correct.